क्लास थ्री इंग्लिश गुड मॉर्निंग रूमीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर टेन टोटोइज ऑन अ पिकनिक नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द की वर्ड्स डिलीशियस टेस्टी हेस्ट हरी और रश स्नूज दैट मीन्स नैप साइड to breathe out or exhale morsel mouthful or bite emerged came out or appeared now let's start with the chapter a small tortoise family lived near a village pond it consisted of papa mama and baby tortoise one sunday they decided to go on a picnic to a beautiful lake in the town nearby baby tortoise was very excited yippee he shouted let me prepare lunch for the picnic said mama tortoise the tortoise family got together preparing for the picnic they made some delicious cookies pakoras and chutney papa tortoise packed them in three separate tiffins papa and mama tortoise then went to put on their walking shoes mama tortoise took a picnic basket in which she packed a large blanket some plates and spoons and some juicy fruits as she got ready to leave she called out to baby tortoise bring the tiffins and hurry up we are getting late as she got ready to leave she called out baby tortoise bring the tiffins and hurry up we are getting late baby tortoise rushed out of the house carrying tiffins papa tortoise locked the front door of the house as they walked out of their garden he carefully shut the gate too before they set out papa tortoise told baby tortoise to keep to the side of the road they began their journey they walked on and on and they walked some more they walked for 4 months and then decided to rest for some time mama tortoise took out for some fruits to eat after resting they began walking again after another 4 months they finally reached the beautiful lake how lovely it is exclaimed mama tortoise the water is so pure and clean said papa tortoise oh let's go for a swim said baby tortoise excitedly no let's eat first said mama tortoise they found a nice shady spot and papa tortoise spread out the large blanket on the green grass mama tortoise began to unpack the lunch oh dear where is the third tiffin she exclaimed in his haste baby tortoise has picked up only two tiffins they had the cookies and the chutney but the pakoras were missing baby tortoise was scared and burst into tears papa tortoise said no need to cry my dear boy since you forgot the tiffin you must now go home and fetch it baby tortoise agreed to go before leaving he said promise me that you will not eat any cookies until i come back we promise 
said papa and mama toto is in union so off he went mama toto is took out her spectacles and began reading a book papa toto is lay back on the blanket and decided to snooze days changed to months but baby tortoise was still not back mama and papa tortoise got up and walked beside the lake admiring the beautiful flowers around it what pretty flowers said mama tortoise papa tortoise who be- who began to feel hungry and worried at the same time said it's been long time now shouldn't we start searching for him mama tortoise said you are absolutely right our baby might have come to some harm or might be in danger papa tortoise seemed to be lost in thought i wanted him to learn behave in a more responsible manner be a little bit more careful mama tortoise sighed and said yes but parents should be more forgiving isn't it anyway without our baby the picnic has lost its fun i will not be able to eat even a morsel of food now papa tortoise immediately started packing their things and said to mama tortoise let's go and find him as they started moving in worry baby tortoise emerged out from behind a tree looking at the stunned papa tortoise he said i am sorry i did not obey your orders i am small so i was scared to go alone i should have told you about my fear i will never hide anything from you now i realize how much you love me and know what is best for me i will be more careful and responsible in the future please forgive me papa papa tortoise hugged his son with eyes full of tears he happily unpacked the food and started eating with his family and they started again for their home so groomies hope you all enjoyed the stories but you have to read it thrice to understand it well thank you